I can't wait to watch the beautiful game today. Let's see, what do we got going on over here? Welcome back to the Football Moments YouTube channel. And today we are doing a frame by frame analysis breakdown of one of the most legendary brawls in football history. Also, if there is something that you guys specifically want me to break down, then leave it in the comments section below. I'm happy to take recommendations. Now this epic Captain Falcon Knee of Justice that you saw in the intro isn't actually where this conflict between Barcelona and Bilbao began. Nor did it start after the final whistle of this Copa del Rey final. Hell, it didn't even start with one of these terrible tackles that was put in on Maradona in this match in 1984. As most good football conflicts do, it has a backstory. And the history goes back to earlier in the start of the season, when Maradona had his ankle broken by a horror tackle from Goyo. From Andon- Bro, Goikoretska. Okay, I got this. From Andoni Goikoretska. Or as he's better known, the Butcher of Bilbao. Uh, quick side note. The Butcher of Bilbao? Imagine what you have to do on the pitch to get a nickname that sounds like a serial killer's. Sounds like a guy that Simeone would hold in high regard. He was initially suspended 18 games for this tackle. 18 games! Loki, I don't want to hate too hard. He is a club legend. He won the league twice with Bilbao, was probably an awesome player to have in front of you, especially if you were a goalkeeper. But guys, this dude apparently framed the cleats that he used to break Maradona's ankle. Some players frame jerseys that they've swapped with legends. Other players frame the trophies and medals that they've won. But this guy frames his weapons like he's a war veteran. He makes Roy Keane look like a saint. Anyways, though, in the reverse fixture in the league, after after his ankle was broken, Maradona scored two to give Barcelona a W. But ultimately, they came up short as Bilbao would go on to win the league. And then in this Copa del Rey final held in Madrid, which for political reasons is not a place that anyone from Bilbao or Barcelona would enjoy being in, they were probably hot about this, the stage was set for Bilbao to complete a historic double. Now Bilbao in the 80s was very similar to the Atletico Madrid of today, with a very, very physical style of play, and that's putting it lightly. They perfectly embodied that doing anything to win mentality. If employing someone known as the Butcher of Bilbao wasn't evidence enough of that, you knew the team was hard when the coach sits down on the bench for a pre-match cigarette. I know it was the 80s, I know everyone smoked back then, even Arsen Wenger, but let me just tell my jokes, okay? Now throughout the match, Maradona was fouled, kicked, hacked, assaulted, and butchered all at the same time. And after the final whistle, he and this Bilbao player got in each other's face, which allegedly led to Miguel Sola, an unused substitute, taunting Maradona. And we all know how that one ended. This Maradona knee is honestly some excellent technique. Like this is some Joe Rogan MMA black belt levels of form. Pretty impressive if you ask me. Coke and kick! Yeah! After this knee, one of his benchmates was calling over to the physios on the sideline trying to get help. Le like, no duh. Of course he's gonna need medical attention. He's lucky to still be alive. Over here, this Barcelona player tries to do a, <laughs> a, a flying kick, but dude, his form is just terrible. And even though it's grainy, I'm pretty sure he ends up taking a gut punch for his efforts and in the process of getting up, also seems to maybe get back healed in the face. This is a good learning opportunity for everyone if you ever find yourself in a street fight and are inexperienced in hand-to-hand -hand combat just please just just don't try to throw out any kicks it's just not gonna go well for you after the knee of justice knocked Sola out this Bilbao bench player tries to come to the rescue 
but realizes that doing so would involve fighting and instead runs away after getting outnumbered. While the red shirt is tumbling away, Maradona zooms in onto his next victim and continues his good run of form with a solid spikes up kick. However, a short seconds later, the red shirt guy finds himself in a position to land a jab on Maradona. The good old jab and run strategy, the true sign of a real man. Like he hasn't even connected on this weak jab before he's already running away. Come on, dude. If you're gonna participate in the brawl, at least do it right. The only reason that Maradona was even in a position to get jabbed here was because moments before, this guy came flying in. And props to him, he had a clear agenda that he executed. He could have swung on this Barca player from behind, but instead decided to like jump into him. He didn't really kick him. He didn't really hit him. He just wanted to let him know that he was there to fulfill his true goal, which was Sparta kicking Maradona. This is Sparta! After the Sparta kick into the coward's jab combo, Maradona has a nice bit of extended separation here, and at this point, most would think that the action is over. However, this guy challenges Maradona, and while he does take a kick, it seems Maradona's good run of form has ended, and he ends up on the ground surrounded by Bilbao players, which in a brawl scenario is the last place that you want to be. However, the world-class teamwork and group understanding of the Catalonian side is on full display here, as when Maradona is in his most vulnerable position, this guy comes flying in like Bruce Lee and Enter the Dragon, and delivers a destructive kick to the back of this Bilbao player. I'm surprised he didn't need back surgery after this. I mean, look at that. He made better contact kicking his back here than Harry Maguire has made contact kicking a ball the entire Manchester United season. You can tell that as he's getting up, he's looking around just trying to figure out what the hell just hit him. He probably thought he got shot. The camera work for this incident was honestly pretty good. I mean, there's so much going on. It's hard to get everything in one concise shot, but the cameraman did manage to pan over just in time to catch this guy flying in studs up, another Bruce Lee impersonator. However, he tries to transition from his flying ninja kick into a punch, but his striking technique let him down severely here. I know he's a football player, I know they're not good with their hands, they're mainly good with their feet, but when it comes time to brawl, I just, I, I gotta be honest, I expect a little bit better. At the end of the day, Bill Bow were able to lift the Copa del Rey to cap off their double, and Maradona was handed down a three month suspension, which just furthered along the process of him getting shipped out to Italy to play for Napoli. So what did we learn from all of this? We learned that even in the 80s, Barcelona players had world-class teamwork, football players really can't throw punches, and Maradona had one of the most powerful knees of all time. Rest in peace, legend. Thank you so much for watching the video today, guys. If you're not subscribed already, then you're missing out on joining one of the fastest growing communities on football YouTube. I make videos on football topics every single day, and it's free to subscribe. Why would you pass up free content I don't know. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day today, and peace out, guys. Take it easy.